Hello darlings and welcome back to the Bob and Hamby Arcade. Today I'm introducing you to the handsome Emmanuel, shop number 21. He has got an unbelievable collection of goodies to show you. Things to invest in, things to buy as gifts. I'm going to leave it all to him to explain because the more time he spends with you, the less chatter you'll get from me. So Emmanuel, Take it away. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for me. So welcome to my shop. Uh, I specialize in a wide range of antiques, uh, from mainly uh, antique jewelry and fine jewelry, but also costume jewelry from the 18th century until today, and also a wide range of um, objects fine and beautiful objet from the times of Marie Antoinette, for example, like the porcelain, or some bohemian glass from the, 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 the 19th century, or for example, some silver, like those white tasters, a set of 10 signed by Charles and Richard, Richard Cummings from 1924, which is extremely rare. The piece I wanted to talk to you about today is from one of my favorite periods, the 1920s and 30s, the Art Deco style. And we have today a wonderful platinum, platinum and diamond bracelet from the Jazz Age. It is really, really something exceptional. So platinum was still a novelty then, and it is studied with over 20 carats of diamonds and you have different cuts, the princess cuts, the baguettes, the brilliant cuts. And something like this would have adorned the, the, the wrists of um, a princess or an artist like Josephine Baker. It is really, really the best of its era. Then I will show you something else of the same era. which is also very beautiful. This is a bracelet, but this time this is costume jewelry. But the workmanship is so fine. All the stones were cut, cut and polished as if they were the real thing. The setting is in silver, but it emulates the um, platinum. And actually, when worn together, with the real pieces, with the diamond pieces, nobody would, would, would really notice. So some of those pieces were just made like that, to wear as costume jewelry, but others were traveling, uh, traveling jewelry, so copies of the real things. They are now very, very collectible, as those, those examples of that quality are very, very rare. I do also specialize in um, some very, very rare uh, objects. For example, those lions, which are called chenets in French, they are fire dogs. They're in bronze and they date from about 1840. They are very uh, striking and you have to imagine them in the setting of a fireplace. And when the fire is lit, it reflects in the, in the bronze, and the mane of the lions catches fire almost. It is something truly exceptional and fit for the, the house of a king. So, Emmanuel, yeah. how did you get on? Well, I hope I dazzled the audience with my diamonds today. Mm, well, now Emmanuel has been trying to enlighten you out there with all his beautiful stock. It's all for sale, credit card, cash, we will take it all. Just come on in and have a great time with Emmanuel. Take care. Goodbye.